guys this is Michelle welcome to my channel grateful creations I'm going to be trying um, a couple of techniques out with the tri art cr crackle ground and this tile is just a ceramic tile I have just um, spray painted with gold paint with just regular lacquer gold paint now I know you can't put the lacquer on top of this you can put acrylic spray paint over this you just kind of pour it on kind of tilt it off. A white tile, nothing underneath, no color. And then I put some alcohol ink on top and this is acrylic ink. So it does have a texture to it, but it's kind of a weird little texture. I don't know, strange, a little bit different. set this aside over on my drying table and I'm going to work on something else and come back to you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Michelle. I'm back. So I had put some gold spray paint. It's regular lacquer spray paint and then put the crackle over top. Now this is not quite 24 hours, but almost. And let me tell you, I had it under my ceiling fan, so it kind of cracked really cool. This one I did not have under my ceiling fan, and it didn't crack that much, but I think it's because there was a thicker layer of crackle on it, the crackle grounds from Triart, which we are right here. So, I've got a bunch of stuff here. I've got some alcohol. I've got some alcohol inks. I've got some diluted alcohol inks. I have um, some silicone oil, which I don't know if I'm going to use or not. I have alcohol in a spray bottle, and I guess we're doing the alcohol thing tonight, right? So I am going to, this is, this one happens to be Laguna. I have an idea in my head of what, uh, of a texture piece I want to do, and this is kind of the, the look I'm going for. So I may add some Baja Blue as well. This is Baja Blue, and this is Laguna that's kind of through there, but I just want to see, just playing, just playing. So it's pretty porous. That would take a long time to do this whole thing. Now, let me see what would happen. I just put it over, whoops, like that. You kind of lose the gold underneath. Don't see it too much anyway, but that's still kind of cool. This is kind of what I'm looking for. Let me try and put just a smidge of Baja Blue in here too. I have diluted this with some alcohol. I haven't tried doing it without the alcohol yet. Oh, that's the color I'm looking for. Oh yeah. Now, let's see what happens if I put it on here and then wipe it off real quick. Do I still get to see the cracks? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, a really nice weathered look. Oh, I am liking that. Oh, geez Louise, I just spilt the alcohol. All right. <laughs> well, that's not surprising, is it? <laughs> Let me put, I'm gonna just put one coat now and wipe it off and then let it dry. It doesn't take long for alcohol ink to dry. So, oh, that is really, really cool. Me like it. I'm going to put another coat on in just a minute now that I have alcohol all over. All right. Another thing I wanted to do is to see what this would do. Nothing. But I wanted to try it. Also, I have some little TLP little piggy and glisten. 
and I wanted to see what this would look like. I'm just gonna take, oh geez, please, a brush and just dust it on. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It goes right into the cracks though. But it's really got a nice sheen to it. Also, oh, you know what? I had, you know why it has a nice sheen? Because there, <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There's um, a bunch of um, oil right there. So let me take a different brush. This is a big brush, too big. So that's what it looks like when it's dusted. That's really cool too. But you don't see the gold anymore, which, you know, it's an experiment. Unless we take another brush. This is what we do, guys, we play. We play to get the best results. I really like that. Now, I'm gonna put some TLP in this alcohol that I have barely any left of. Let's see what that does. I have made alcohol inks with TLPs, but I've never mixed them with another with an alcohol ink color. So they just mix right in. There's not anything more that you have to do. It's just really quick and easy. I love Glisten with turquoise. It's my favorite. Yeah, so, ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I can see all kinds of possibilities with this. But for the application I want, I'm actually gonna do a textured piece, but it's not gonna be totally abstract. It's gonna be not totally realistic either. What are you trying to say, Michelle? Oh my God. That's pretty cool. And I like it. It's got a sheen to it. I do like it without the sheen too. Well, not a, none of it has no sheen. Duh. So now I'm gonna go and dip it right back into this alcohol, just plain. Oh, and by the way, that was my thumb holding it while I was putting it down. So you really can't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the, um, it came off. So the more you put down, this is kind of concentrated now because this ink is setting up, it's drying. So it looks a little darker. Kind of like it would look if it were coming right out of Right out of the bottle. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Depends on what you're looking for. If you want a concentrated color, or if you want something a little bit more muted. Either way, it works. Alcohol, I just want to see if it removes. directly and it just kind of wow look what's happening so lots of options <laughs> look at that it's cool it's kind of seeping right into those cracks which that's a cool look too so if it's seeping into the cracks what would happen if I wiped the top off Nah, took it right away. Oh well. So.
I'm spraying this spray bottle of alcohol up towards the camera. Now I'm spraying it right on there. Okay, that's cool too. <laughs> so many different options. Ooh la la. It's fun. It's fun to play. So these are just experiments and then I'm going to go ahead and use this actual crackle paste on a textured piece. And I want to show you how to make a texture out of something you probably haven't heard of, or maybe you have, who knows. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, so let's put that and that out of the way. So I have some Lucas Krill Titanium White. This is diatomaceous earth. Some people know about it, some people don't. I have to get a mask on, because this stuff is not good for your lungs, but it gets rid of ants, it gets rid of fleas, it gets rid of cockroaches, and it makes a nice, for your, your canvas, and it also makes a nice um, texture paste. All right, so let's take, I don't wanna make up too much at first, half a teaspoon diatomaceous earth yeah this stuff guys it's all natural you can actually eat it and there are some good health benefits to it but um, you can't put it yeah try to keep it out of your lungs do not breathe it so now I'm gonna put that was a quarter or half a half a teaspoon is that one tablespoon paint here and this can diatomaceous earth if you put it in water um, make a paste out of it you can thicken your paste paints with it too so that's just a, another thing you can do with it oh man gonna need a lot more okay so two I think I need to put water in there too. Oh my goodness. Squeeze. There we go. So it's two tablespoons to one half teaspoon so far. Or is that a teaspoon? It looks like a tablespoon to me. You could actually do this with a palette knife. There we go, we're making a paste out of it. It does have like, you could mix it up even more. don't need a lot to do any of these any of the um, applications it's good for put a link to on some of the um, some of the different things you can do with it but for our purposes tonight now let me add some water and see where's my water and I'm gonna make this into gesso I know you can make gesso out of baby powder or plaster of Paris. Um, this is food grade diatomaceous earth. It's also good in the garden to get rid of bugs in your garden. And you can use different colored paints. You don't have to use white. You can make your gesso out of any color. 
white and black are more uh, common, but I don't see why you couldn't make gesso out of any color paint. Not that you really need to put the paint down. All right. And that is what the gesso would look like. Still kind of thick. I guess you can um, adjust it accordingly. Yeah. Just a little bit more. Also, diatomaceous earth, when mixed with paint, helps paint adhere better. Um, just another little tidbit of information. They actually use this in paint to make it adhere better. So it's part of the industry. All right, I'll be back. Guys, me again. <laughs> like, you guys haven't gone anywhere, or I have. <laughs> The other way you can make textured paste is to mix paint with just beach sand. So I went to the beach the other day and picked up a bunch of sand. And, oh, well, okay. I wouldn't even worry about this, the other stuff that's in it unless it really bugs you. Oh, come on. So this will give you a little bit different texture. This is the diatomaceous earth is very um, smooth and creamy. There we go. So just white, just sand and white paint. Totally different texture. And you just apply it with a palette knife. Yeah, that's good. So we have some of both. Oh, that was a bubble. Which I. The idea I have has two different textures I'm going to need anyways, so this is probably not even enough for what I'm going to be doing. If you don't want that texture that thick, add more paint. You can even add water. So I'm going to have several textures with the crackle as well. I hope this turns out. I've never done anything like this before, so... It could be fail, it could be a huge success. We just don't know. We'll find hey out. Hey guys, so I'm back. So, whoa, Wilbur, sorry. This is what I came up with. And now this is some, um, some of the paste that I made up with the, there's actually both pastes in here. There's sand and then there's a diatomaceous earth. And then I took some, um, just some, Conacredo Nicolesa gold and some golden um, iridescent gold fine. I actually started out with the caramel from the alcohol inks and I didn't get, I wasn't getting the results I wanted. But look, look at the crackling there. So before I seal this with um, either Triart liquid glass or with resin, with, that, with resin, what you need to do because this is alcohol ink is seal it with Kmart varnish before you put anything else on. So that this is the prelude to the painting I'm going to be working on. And I've already, whoopsie, I've already, whoa, Wilbur, I've already just so, oh my God, I'm all hung up. Oh shit, shoot. Um, I've already gessoed the, um, this canvas and it turned out absolutely perfect. And I wanted to gesso it because I think you're gonna need to have a surface um, to put the crackle on. And I actually, I'm still going to spray paint it gold, just for just for giggles. So what you wanna do, I'm in a very ventilated place. This is all screened in. So I'm just going to Give it a coat, let it sit, and then we'll we'll put a different, um, oh wow, that looks pretty just the way it is. You can leave it with just the Kmart varnish on it, but I prefer a little bit shinier look for this. Well, maybe not, maybe not. Anyhow, what do you think? Should I put varnish on it? Should I put resin on it? Should I put Trier liquid glass on it? Let me know in the comments. I really, really like these colors together. 
So that's my project. It's going on a canvas now. Thank you. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and cheese Louise. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now. Bye, guys.